Hi everyone, my name is Anna Moskvitina and I am a brow trainer. And I have an extensive experience dedicating many years now to perfecting my skills in brow artistry. And today I'm going to show you the detailed tutorial about brow henna tinting. Step by step, we're going to learn this great SPA brow procedure and the products I'm using. This is my first video in English and I've put so much in it. So if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to our channel and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. And today I'll be working with the delicate brow tinting uh, products by Henna Refresh brand. We'll start the procedure with prepping the brow area. It's a very important step you shouldn't ignore because uh, the final result requires a thorough skin and hair cleaning. The very first step is cleansing the skin. I use the product cleanser to remove uh, the skin sebum. Take a cotton bud and massage the brow area with the cleanser. Wipe the cleanser off with the wet cotton pad. I'm going to use a peel-off gel. This product gently exfoliates the old dead skin cells and removes all the excess oil from the skin. It helps the henna penetrating the skin and hairs way better. Slightly applying it with a cotton bud. Lactic acid as a component of this product moisturizes the skin. You can also use any regular eyebrow peeling product like exfoliant, scrub or gommage, but make sure it is gentle, not irritating and not aggressive because you don't want to traumatize your skin. For instance, I like the scrub gel when I work with oily, thick skin. The scrub has a very nice, delicate scent and the gel texture is easy to rinse off. Wipe it off properly with a wet cotton pad. The next step is applying the shampoo with macadamia oil. It softly removes the dirt from skin and hairs, reducing the skin texture and dryness. The macadamia oil component quickly absorbs, moisturizes, softens and nourishes the skin. The shampoo is easy to use thanks to the pack and the measuring spoon. It helps you deliver just the right amount of the product. Wipe it off with a wet cotton pad. It leaves you with a great feeling of clean and fresh eyebrows. Before I start with mapping, I'm going to prepare my henna mix. To make the mix, you can either use a regular water or special solution with lavender extract. It's called Diluter Henna Refresh. If you choose the diluter, you will get a vibrant color, sharp lines and maintain long wear brow staining. You will get more of a natural look and softer lines. Henna Refresh brand offers eight beautiful natural shades – brunette, chocolate, blonde, caramel, honey, maroon, chestnut and graphite. For my model, I decided to take a mix uh, in two shades – blonde and caramel. To mix henna, I take a tiny plastic or glass jar, dose a small amount of henna through the nozzle, put several drops of solution, and mix it up with some old brush or a mixer. Leave it for 5-10 minutes and before applying, mix it again. We need this 5-10 minutes to achieve the appropriate consistency because all of the ingredients will combine together properly. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna do the brow mapping. To map the eyebrows, I'm gonna need a white paste, thread and the brow artist ruler. First, I draw a small scale on my model's forehead. This is my little life hack. It helps me create symmetrical brows based on face center line. Then I run a small section of my thread through the white paste until it's coated. I mark the beginning of the brows by lining the thread with the center of the nostril. With my model's eyes open, mark the length of the brows at the corner of the nose to the corner of the open eye. Then mark the highest point of the arch by placing the thread at the center of the chin and the outer part of the iris. Place your thread underneath and above the brows horizontally to mark the bulbs. 
and mark the peaks. Next, I'm gonna do the contouring. My personal style of work is uh, to keep the natural shape as much as possible with minimum corrections, but of course I always discuss it with a client and I advise you to do the quick mapping to approve it with your model. To apply henna I use the two-sided angled brush. This tool is very handy when we talk about layering the product, creating sharp lines. And the other side of the brush you can use to correct small mistakes. Henna is a natural product made of Lausonia dried leaves. It's a long wear tint and the lasting results are up to 8 weeks on hairs and stain up to 10 days on skin. The repeated henna treatment is usually appropriate once in 4 to 6 weeks, not more often because of the risk to over dry the skin and darken the hairs way too much. Remove the henna from the inside of the eyebrows after 3 to 5 minutes for an ombre effect with the damp, not too wet cotton pad. Press it on and wait a little while to get the crust soaked and then wipe it off. If the color is still too light, reapply and wait for another 3 to 5 minutes. And finally, remove the rest of the henna after 10 to 20 minutes. If you noticed that you've made a mistake and now you have a small stain outside the shape, you can use the remover with amla oil. Put a small amount of the remover on a micro brush and gently rub the stain, it'll fade away. You can also use this product if you kept henna on the inside of the eyebrows a bit longer and now they look too sharp and dark. Now we can get to the brow shaping and I'm gonna use the antibacterial thread Henna Refresh. This super strong cotton thread will remove the hairs with no irritation. Thanks to a special alloy soft coating, this thread will help you avoid skin redness and it's suitable for sensitive skin. After tweezing, waxing or threading, I recommend using soothing gel around the eyebrow. To complete the procedure, I need to fix the color on the hairs and uh, style them in a nice shape. And I'm going to use the Henna Refresh Eyebrow Fixator. care is very important when it comes to brow dyeing and you want to explain it to your client and recommend a customized home care. Here is the deal. Home care helps you achieve the fuller looking brows, stimulate the growth of new hair, promote healthy hair follicles, nourish and condition existing hairs, and make it less susceptible to breakage. Henna Refresh brand offers a great selection of home care masks. For example, the soothing mask with calendula extract or a nourishing mask with avocado. I hope that my video was useful to you and all of the Henna Refresh products you can buy online on proglance.com. So guys, I'm waiting for your comments down below and I'll see you soon. Bye!